Paula's bakery. She's crying. <laughs> she's saying. What's up guys? We are on our way to New York City. We were originally going just to New Jersey to go to the American Dream Mall, but it turns out it's like eight minutes from New York and my youngest brother's never been. So now we're just having a whole trip out of it. We have one day cut short, so I'm not exactly sure how everything's gonna go. We had a pretty set itinerary, but there was a snowstorm, so our flight got canceled. But I'm still happy we're able to make it. This flight is apparently gonna be full and I'm sitting next to strangers, so I'm gonna go, bye. Udi, come here. What are we doing in the middle of a neighborhood in Queens, New York? Well, as you see here, we got Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man's house. Let's go. Norman's on sabbatical. <laughs> so we don't really have a plan. We're just kind of going with the flow at this point. And right here, this is from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies. So this is Mary Jane's house. This one is renovated, but this was the original Spider-Man house. This is so lit, actually. After we visit Spider-Man, we swing on over to Hoboken, New Jersey, and this is the original location of Carlo's Bake Shop. The line's up the wazoo! Yeah, and here's some cannolis, mia familia, you know, all that jazz. Now here we are in New York City and we are at the Plaza Hotel. I wish they invented a way that you could smell this because all those flowers were real and it smelled so incredible when you walked into the door. This is crazy. I know it from Home Alone, but it's just so infamous from so many things. But we get slippers. Look at this bed. The chandelier. Look at the bathroom, dude. Okay, this does not look nearly as cool on my camera as it does in real life. But this is ginormous. I would just like to say that Home Alone was not able to capture how magnificent and splendid this place is. Like this is such a splurge, but it's so worth it. It's so cool. I feel so lavish and fancy right now. I kind of feel like a dork though, because in my head, I was just thinking American Dream Mall vacation. I was thinking water park, theme park. So that's kind of what I planned my clothes around. And here's the Plaza Hotel at night. And now we're just walking through the city and we're on our way to see something that's been on my mom's bucket list. So that's pretty fun. And ready, here we go. How do you feel right now? I am so excited. This is one of your lifelong dreams. Yes, it is. What it's is it? Beautiful. Oh my God. What is it for the people who don't know? Rockefeller Center. In see here. New York. <laughs> I know, but you've always wanted to see one at the Rockefeller Center. Elf. No, the Christmas tree. Oh. <laughs> So we did it! Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> this is a le oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> Please keep that in Dude, the video. Just... Here's the thing I tripped up right here. Nobody was recording it tripped off. Um anyways, what I was trying to say is <laughs> Today is the last day the tree is gonna be up at the Rockefeller Center and we just made it. They're literally like preparing to take it down. Like the crane is here and she's ready. She's she's ready. Ready man. and sick. He's right there. New York City. 
He's kind of what like that? that? Dude, I can't even believe we actually He's saw He's kind of like a bum. He must- <laughs> <laughs> I know we already visited Carlos Bakery, but the Times Square location was so over the top, so we had to go inside and check it out, and it was so worth it. <laughs> Wait, let me see you. Wait, let me see you. Go on. <laughs> we ran into Carlo from Carlos Bakery. She's crying. <laughs> She's insane. Go, like, what? Dude, my manifestation is coming true. true. She goes, I want to see a rat in New York. I want to see Carlo. Dude, Take the funny me thing. anywhere and it will come thing. true, okay? <laughs> but no. So the goat, uh, mom. We, the lady was like, oh, Carlos is right there. So we we're like, yo, let's go take a pic. And he's like, okay, guys, be quiet. And of course, my mom, oh my God, Carlos. He's like, shh, shh, shh. <laughs> And then dude's hiding in the huddle. We'll, we'll put a picture up later. But dude's just hiding in the bottom like this because he doesn't want to be seen. So it's pretty lit. And now I'm going to eat this heat bag. Oh my gosh, this line is crazy. I heard it so good <laughs> Guys, that was just a line for the pizza place. I've never heard of this place before, but the boys claim it's the best in New York City. This is the place that they did pizza time in Spider-Man 2. What? This is pizza time. I didn't know that. Cool. <laughs> 29 minute guarantee, Mr. Aziz. Come on. Mr. Aziz, I owe you. I left the line to get earmuffs and it was so worth it. But I just wanted to say, I thought these guys were lying. I don't cap. Do everything but cap, huh? Dude, the pizza looks so good here, wow. What is this oh, one? So we just got back to the hotel. It was a little chilly in Times Square, but the pizza was amazing and we had a lot of fun. And I still can't believe the Carlos Bakery situation. He's usually not there. That is like something crazy that never happens. And weirdly excited about the rat, seeing the New York City rat. But we come back to the hotel and I throw on the robe. I love me a hotel that has robes. There's so many in Greece that do that and it's oh, so good. And then they got the little slippers. I can't even tell. Okay, yeah, my foot's in there. But we come back and there is a letter addressed to us and then these macaroons. <laughs> Since the snowstorm messed up our day one where we were originally supposed to go to the Shrek water park, I'm not gonna lie, I was really, really disappointed in that because that was like the main reason that I wanted to take this trip. It just happened to be a coincidence that New York was only a couple minutes from the mall, but Today ended up being so awesome. So sometimes you just gotta let go of what your expectations of the day is supposed to be and just go with the flow. Dude, I just experienced something that was a scene from Dumb and Dumber, that was a scene from National Lampoon's Vacation. So there was three things that you twist and turn in the shower. And I started with the center one because I was like, this looks like something you would turn to turn on water. Nothing happened. And then there was the two levers and I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure this side is hot water. So I turned that one on and there was an overhead shower and the handheld one. So when I turned the one that I thought was a hot water, it turned the handheld one on and it came out with such force of water that it flew off. It was on a holder. It like flew up in the air and then smashed my foot. Like it hit my foot so hard. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be bruised. And then on top of that, it was like, 
all around in the shower and then it was getting all over the bathroom like the water was spraying everywhere on the carpet i was like, are you kidding me and my immediate reaction because the water was first of all super hot it didn't need any time to warm up and second of all my foot still hurt from when it flew off i closed the door to the shower but there's a little crack in the bottom of the door hold on let me show you so when the shower door closed this crack here I could like fit my finger through. The water was still gushing out of here like a waterfall. Like this is soaking wet. But yeah, my solution didn't end up being a solution. So I was like, oh crap. So I had to go in there right away. It's like spraying everywhere, spraying in my face. Shut it off. And then I figure out how the shower works. Then I proceed to have the most amazing shower of my life. It was so great. But it also told you the temperature settings of your shower. I take showers 120 degrees Fahrenheit. Nonetheless, most amazing shower of my life. And now I'm gonna end that with our good night because I'm all clean and I'm ready to rest. All right, see you guys tomorrow. Hey, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.